Hey, what's up? People Pizal here, and today I want to talk to you about In Search of Darkness Part 2. In Search of Darkness Part 2 is the sequel to In Search of Darkness, the nearly four and a half hour documentary exploring the best and most influential 80s horror films from the perspectives of the people who made them and the fans who loved them. In Search of Darkness Part 2 further explores the genre films from the decade of decadence, only this time around taking in some deeper tracks. 80s horror flicks that may not be as well known as your Friday the 13th or your A Nightmare on Elm Street, as well as horror films from abroad. I reviewed In Search of Darkness Part 1, so for a full in-depth review of that documentary, go check out that video. And really my only qualm with the first In Search of Darkness documentary had to do with the fact that they really didn't stray too far from the path of the classics. Horror films from the 80s that hardcore horror fans like myself are already quite familiar with. I was also a little surprised that there weren't more great international horror films from the 80s represented. Well, In Search of Darkness Part 2 spends its nearly four and a half hour runtime doing just that, exploring the deeper cuts and horror films from abroad. As a matter of fact, the documentary explored some movies that I'd heard of but I hadn't seen, and one movie in particular that I hadn't even heard of, but it sounds right up my alley and is now on my to-watch list. In Search of Darkness Part 2 includes interviews with Cassandra Peterson, Tom Savini, Tom Atkins, John Carpenter, Greg Nicotero, Stuart Gordon, Jeffrey Combs, Don Mancini, Keith David, Kelly Maroney, Nancy Allen, Robert England, Steve Johnson, Chris Jericho, Lloyd Kaufman, Joe Dante, Carolyn Williams, Corey Taylor, Michael Gingold, Clancy Brown, Joe Bob Briggs, Sean Cunningham, Jackie Kong, Linnea Quigley, as well as YouTubers like James Roth, Dead Meat, Cecil from Good Bad Flicks, and many, many more. They go through the decade of the 80s one year at a time, discussing movies like Argento's Inferno, Humanoids from the Deep, Mother's Day, Terror Train, Alligator, The Fun House, Graduation Day, The Boogans, Dead and Buried, Evil Speak, Slumber Party Massacre, Alone in the Dark, City of the Living Dead, Pieces, The Beyond, The Keep, Tenebrae, Chud, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Razorback, Cannibal Holocaust, April Fool's Day, Demons, Vamp, Blood Diner, Hello Mary Lou, Prom Night 2, Hollywood Chainsaw, Hookers, Maniac Cop, Waxwork, Tetsuo, The Iron Man, Shocker, Night of the Demons, Bad Taste, Silent Night, Deadly Night 3, and many many more. I was stoked to see movies like Pieces, Vamp, The Fun House, Waxwork, Slumber Party Massacre, and The Keep get recognized. I also really enjoyed the segments in which people like Tom Savini, Nancy Allen, and Linnea Quigley discussed their careers. I also really dug when they covered topics like children in horror or the craft of horror acting and so on. I had a very sobering experience while watching In Search of Darkness Part 2 because the documentary celebrates so many great 80s horror movies, many of which I love with all my heart. But while watching the documentary, I had the realization that most of these movies could never get made today. In Search of Darkness Part 2 continues the celebration of 80s horror films that the first documentary began, only this time around spotlighting a lot of movies that usually don't get the kind of recognition that I think they deserve. I can't tell you how many times I openly cheered when a movie's poster art appeared on screen prior to them being discussed. Movies like Pieces, movies like Vamp, movies like Blood Diner, The Fun House, Alone in the Dark, Hello Mary Lou, Prom Night 2, hell, even Silent Night, Deadly Night 3. In Search of Darkness Part 2 was highly entertaining. It did not feel like four and a half hours while watching it. I could have easily sat and watched another hour or two. I thoroughly enjoyed In Search of Darkness Part 2. If you've seen In Search of Darkness Part 2, please let me know your thoughts on the documentary down in the comments section below. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care, and until next time, peace. A huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and join me for exclusive live streams, get early access to videos, and have a say in what movies I review on my channel. Become a channel member and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Links are in the description.
Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.